It's the My Arcade Micro Player Space Invaders. I've been looking forward to this coming out ever since I saw it uh, advertised a few months ago. I think it was at uh, some kind of toy convention or something like that. It looks really cool. And I'm pretty excited to open this up. I've not opened it yet. So I'm going to have first impressions of what I think about it as I take it, take it out of the box. I have really fond memories of Space Invaders. I used to play it a lot at the bowling alley my mom used to bowl at. And I remember when it first came out, I was absolutely entranced with this game. I still love it to this day. Even though it's got very simplistic gameplay, it's still highly entertaining for me. Anyway, the box. My arcade went above and beyond on the box on this thing. It looks really cool. I like the little hologram sticker right here on the box that says Space Invaders. I love this metallic blue. I don't think you can see too well in the video, but it's a nice deep dark blue with this metal flake in it. It's really cool looking. Plus you can see the game inside, it'll simulate the game screen. On the side of the box you can see a little bit of the artwork on the side of the cabinet. It has like a little game history up here as well. So it says, stop the invasion. Jump in your spaceship and fend off the waves of attacking enemy invaders before they land. Originally released in 1978, Space Invaders had a revolutionary impact, becoming an instant global phenomenon among arcade enthusiasts and introducing many others to video games. Yeah, this this game, when it came out, Space Invaders, it was the most popular game in the arcade. I, 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 I fondly remember having to put the quarters on the machine to wait my turn to play the crazy game. Of course, in the back, it shows some of the features of this little device here. Classic reflected display. Now that's what I'm looking forward to, to see how they did that. It's got a backlit, backlit marquee. That's awesome. For facing speaker and illuminated coin trap. Awesome. So let's open this thing up here. Move the little uh, invader guy here. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Here. Does it really know how to open a box? We will find out. Okay, let's see here. Oop. Let's see, slice. I think I gotta get this one over here, like so. Ooh, don't wanna mess up the box. I'm trying to be really careful. Open this thing up. Do, 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 do. Space Invaders. These up, these up, this brain is cooked. These up, this brain is cooked. I like that song by Uncle Vic. And yeah, slice, okay. I think I got it. See doo doo. Maybe I got it. Oh the freaking box is hooked. There we go. Alright. Awesome. So right off the bat I can see we got a manual. It looks like a catalog. It's the bottom piece there. There's the game unit itself. Wow, this thing is pretty cool looking. Shows like the little 100 yen symbol there, which is a push button, which is really cool. I like the artwork. It's a pretty cool looking cabinet. Of course, there's our batteries. It looks like it takes four AA batteries. You even have a headphone jack back here. Oh, this is awesome. Let's see what this is here. Oh, this is like a catalog of their other other games. We'll scoot this off the side a little bit there. So what we got in here? So we got the Data East Classic, the Bandai Namco Classics. There's a coming soon right there. What that is? Taito Classic titles and Premium Edition titles. Oh, look at this! A Contra. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome! And here's their pocket players, which they're okay. I like the the Galaga pocket player the best of all of these. I don't have them all though. I had the Pac-Man one, which is okay. Anyway, that's cool. I like the little catalog there. And we have our instruction manual: Space Invaders Micro Player Retro Arcade. Talks about all the different features here. Putting in the batteries. It's one of those multilingual manuals. That's why it's so long. So we've got French in here and probably Spanish, Italian. Pretty cool. All right. 
we gotta put some batteries in this thing give it a try let's peel off the sticker here first I like the decal they put on this thing little cover sticker Whoop. oh this is cool all right we're gonna put batteries in this thing and we're gonna give it a try now before we turn the game on let's take a look at some of the buttons on here now the on off button is the coin door right here you just push that in to click it to turn it on push it again to turn it off then we have our coin up button here which is a little 100 yen symbol that is awesome I like that little detail see our speaker right here the control panel we have our left and right fire reset the machine one and two player and of course on the back we have battery compartment we have a headphone jack volume control we also have a six volt in as well in case you don't want to power it on batteries pretty cool all right let's turn it on we'll push the coin door that's the on off button oh that's cool I like the light up marquee and the screen is actually reflected onto that background back there just like the arcade game that is awesome oh this is so cool so we have our one player, two button player, select, got a reset button, fire, and we got the joystick here to control our base. Let's hit the 100 yen uh, coin button up here in the front. And one player game. Give it a try. Oh, this is cool. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> tight. <laughs> oh, the sound effects are great. Oh, this is incredible. Now, I typically don't buy the My Arcade uh, little mini cades. Uh, but this one, yeah, this is this is nice. I really like this. I'll definitely be keeping this in the collection. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I want to zoom into the screen a little bit better. So you can see the reflective display a little bit easier. It's not showing up too well on my video right here. So let's stop the game. I'll hit the reset button here. Boop. And then we'll zoom into the screen so you can see a better overview of it. Okay, here's a closer shot of the screen. Let's start another game. Hit the uh, 100 yen button. Push one player. Play player one. And they did a really good job with the reflective screen on this to be just like the arcade. Unfortunately, the video I don't think is doing it justice. It looks really awesome in person. I mean, it's just like the arcade game, but in miniature. That's, that is a real nice detail that my arcade did. Well, I see what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day. I won't be playing this crazy thing. I'm really liking this. This is cool. So awesome. Ooh, ooh. Get these guys over here. Oh! <laughs> well, let's give some final thoughts on this machine. So, what are my thoughts on this new My Arcade a Micro Player? I really like this thing. If you're a big fan of Space Invaders like I am, you may want to think about getting one of these for your collection. The game plays just like the arcade. The sound effects are pretty much spot on in my opinion. Uh, the gameplay is, is there. The big plus for me on this is they actually have a light up marquee just like the arcade and they do the reflective screen. That is an effect that I absolutely love about the original Space Invaders uh, game. And having it recreated in a miniature form is outstanding video does not do it justice you need to see this in person because it looks incredible it looks just like the arcade game i'm very happy with it now what's one of the drawbacks of this well one of the drawbacks of this is it does not save the high scores when you turn the power off so as soon as you turn the power off you're going to lose all the high scores on the machine that's unfortunate but it is what it is uh, it's still cool for what it is anyway even little invader guy likes it too. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's the My Arcade Space Invaders Premium Micro Player. 
part of their retro arcade line. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they do. I hope they do like a... Uh, I wish someone would do like a Zaxxon or, or something like that, because that's not really been done in a micro arcade before. I think that'd be kind of cool. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.